Hi everyone! Let's go, go on with our discussion with chapter 6 of our book. So Ron has been convicted, he's been sentenced, and at the beginning of chapter 6 he's just like, okay, just get me to prison, let's just get this over with, I'm ready to move on. So they take him to Central Prison, which is in Raleigh. Um, there he's looking at the building and the fortifications and he's like, there is definitely no way out. Um, they have him shower, change his clothes, they fingerprint him, take his picture, um, and then some of the other inmates are whistling at him and catcalling at him, and so he's like, I can't show that I'm scared in here. So in this prison, it was a way to diagnose how well you were going to fit in, how well you were going to do in a correctional system to see where you would best fit in, um, and he's put into a temporary dorm, but in the beginning, he doesn't really want to talk to anybody. He's given a caseworker and he ends up getting a job in the kitchen because he worked in a restaurant before so he felt comfortable there. Plus he said, I knew it meant you could eat your meals away from the rest of the population, hopefully away from trouble. Um, but in the kitchen was a man named New York who was after him in not a lot of good ways. And so he had to make sure that New York didn't break him. And it was all about surviving in prison. He spent every day in the gym, a lot of people do. Um, even during this pandemic, there have been um, previous inmates who have made videos to help people who are just in the pandemic, who are at home, who were going stir crazy and saying, look, this is what we had to do to keep our mind on things while we were in prison. And then on page 99, he sees a new inmate. He's like, that guy kind of looks familiar. And Ron's only been there three months and he's like, he kind of looks like my sketch for my crime. That looks like the same guy. Um, and so he goes up to him, finds out that, yeah, he's from Burlington. His name's Bobby Poole. And yeah, he's in there for rape too. And Ron's like, um, did you do my crimes? And he's like, no, 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 that wasn't me. But already, three months into his prison term, Ron says, I have my suspicions that he was lying to me. But then again, in prison, you can never know for certain who's telling you the truth and who isn't. All right, so that's the big reveal in chapter six, is that he finally gets to prison, he's situated in there, and then, wait a minute, this guy looks like my composite sketch of my crime. So that's gotta be huge. You're thinking, wait a minute, I'm spending time in here, doing time for a crime I didn't do, and yet I think it's this guy here doing it, who did it. Um, so if that's the case, how do you, how do you prove it? Okay, so we're going to look at that in chapter seven. So chapter six was our short chapter uh, for week five. So um, if you don't have any other questions, let's move on to chapter seven. But make sure you email me if you have any questions.